Welcome to my channel, I'm Bea. My channel is about art journaling, mixed media, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Now enjoy my video. Hi folks, welcome back to another tutorial. This time it's going to be for the Making Clay Design Team. It's a project for their product. Uh, I do get their products for free, just to be, be real here. Nonetheless, I really say I like their clay. I do play with other clay too, which is bakeable, but I want to turn those um, toys, which are, you know, those uh, cubes which you turn around until you have to put puzzle together. So, but they are plastic. They are not wood, so I can't put it in the oven, which makes it a good choice for the non-baked polymer clay. I'm also going to use some molds. It, this one is from Sculpey. If you have other face molds, that's up to you. And no, they don't look like <laughs> exactly like they uh, came from the mold. We're going to manipulate them a little bit. We're going to need paint, of course. We're going to paint it a little bit. I have uh, some colors here. That's uh, the shading color. And I have here my uh, face color. I'm still thinking about whether I'm going to paint the crown uh, either in gold or copper. I'm not decided yet. This is an already dry one. So you have to let it dry for 24 hours. It has to dry natural and it takes about 24 hours. I don't make it too massive so it, there is a chance that it's going to dry in 24 hours. So what else you need? You're going to need water, you're going to need gesso because I did gesso everything first and I have used so far 120 gram or approximately 4.2 ounces of white clay. I have the leftover in a baggie and I think it gives me a third, maybe even a fourth of those cubes. We'll see. Okay, with no further ado, I'm gonna make me a little bit room. We're gonna start the project. I'm gonna add some gesso to the cubes. That helps me later on with painting and also the uh, clay itself sticks a little bit better. And I use, as you can see, just a wipe. Of course that has to dry again, but I have one already ready. <laughs> so now I do grab some of the clay and first of all I want rather an organic thingy around the and I just add it for the moment. I decide which side is down, which on which it's gonna stand. I try to make it as flat as possible there. Next I gonna grab me a bit of the clay. You have to adapt the size of your face to the size of your cubes and, and then you have to adapt the size of the ball you use to the oops, <laughs> it's against me to the mold. So what I do usually I would go like this and may, when I would want sort of a medallion but this time I want it a little bit overlapping so I stretch it out over the ridge, over the edge. Make sure that I have it good in. And then where is the, that's here. And then I pull it out and it's more or less how it was, but I want to change it up a little bit. 
So I'm gonna elongate her or you maybe could widen her. Just play a little bit with the face and I like to put it in a slightly angle but that's up to you. Attach it to the what's already there and now I'm gonna use a wet towel and maybe also some water. Now comes the part where I gonna form it the way I want it. You can try it. I, I switch between fingers, this tool and a wet towel. I kind of want a smooth transition here. So sometimes, and I dip the, this is by the way a making tool also. Uh, I'm gonna have all the materials and tools I have also in the video description. And as usual on my, on my blog too. So for those who don't know, I post every video on my blog just in case YouTube doesn't display my videos so often and you miss them. Even if you have the notification on, it's no guarantee that they give you a notification. Okay, so you see a little bit more what I'm doing. I make sure that I have not too much here. Okay. So I want to get ri uh, rid of this ridge here. So I'm working here a little bit. Sometimes when you manipulate a little bit too much, you lose the definition. Then you simply go in and add a little bit more definition again. Now, because I have a little bit left, I'm going to show you how I make the crown. gonna give him or her or whatever it is a crown so I do have uh, I'm gonna zoom you out for that I do have the making clay ultimate clay roller which is uh, by the way uh, also very handy for bakeable polymer clay because it's um, teflon coated which is really nice. And I have it on the second largest setting. And I simply gonna I put the, do it over here so you can actually see it. A small strip. As I said, it's on the second, second largest setting and I would say it's about three millimeters. It can't be too thin or it will collapse. So, and what I have used to make those um, points. I use their um, uh, roller for um, cutting out. So it's as simple as the cutting some strips. Now I have to see how much I need. Okay. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Cut a slight angle. And 
and a slight angle here too. And put them together. Again, adding a little bit of water to smooth out a bit. And then I simply put it on and form it a little bit the way I want it. I have to go here. Now he has a crown too. He or she. I'm not sure what they are. <laughs> they are square heads. They could be both. <laughs> anyway, uh, again that has to dry 24 hours before you can paint it. So my heads are dry. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go over all again with gesso. Now that they are dry, I'm going to prepare me some paint. I'm going to use for the shadow some purple. I'm also going to use some uh, red for the lips. It's acrylic paint, any brand will work. And I do have a mixture here from uh, flesh tone color mixed half half with glazing medium so that's what i also use when i make paintings and i'm gonna need probably a tiny bit of black also it is hard to get just a tiny bit with this way too much oh well and as i said i'm gonna use a flat quarter inch and a really tiny Three zero brush. They are both synthetic. I usually have synthetic brushes. So first thing, um, I also going to need some glazing medium because I don't want a complete. I want, want a more of a transparent paint. So I'm going to mix a little bit purple and the. Glazing medium and adding shadows. Under the eyebrow, along the nose, there is the, the uh, on top of the lips there is this little tip which I make also and then the other side of the nose and the eyeshadow sort of doesn't need a lot paint and maybe a little bit even lighter along the edges of the face so to just rub it in okay Something like that. Now for the lips and the cheeks I'm gonna use red. Again I'm gonna mix in a tiny bit of glazing medium. It helps also to spread the paint a little bit easier. Here we 
go. And for the cheeks, again, even more transparent. I'm going to go all over even over the painted areas I only paint flesh color where the clay is. I do leave the cube itself just in chisel. Just the, the way I like it, but you certainly could change that. Now I'm gonna go over a second time in certain areas and I also gonna add some white highlights. I don't have a lot of paint on my brush so then I, uh, that I can give a light shade that's sometimes referred as a um, dry brush technique a little bit more for the lips white you could use either um, acrylic paint or I'm just gonna go with the gesso because I have it already on the table the bowl of the nose gets a little bit white and a line up on the bridge of the nose and the chin Now I decided for this one I'm gonna try out some gold for the crown. Let's see what it looks like. it looks like with the golden crown. Now I'm gonna paint <laughs> I like them. I'm gonna paint this one too and then I will have as usual um, a photo at the end of the video where you can see them in the real color and up close. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.